the United Nations has since 2013 found itself increasingly involved in subsidence conflict, providing protection to almost half a million subsidence nationals who are running away from ethnic targeted killings resulting from war that began on 15th December 2013. More than 200,000 people still remain sheltering under UN protection and with no signs of the war stopping, the United Nations says it wants to remain involved in saving lives in the country. The look at its mandate, is the mandate being accomplished? If not, why not? What are the gaps? What can be done to close those gaps and so forth? So we are in the midst of our work and uh, again, our consultations and listening to the government of South Sudan uh, is a very important piece of that work. The UN has more than 16,000 peacekeepers in South Sudan who are also involved in providing life-saving health assistance to millions of South Sudanese and rehabilitating roads in the country. Peace is already returning back to the country and we feel that um, the resolution that is under chapter 7 for protection of civilians should now revert back to chapter 6 which encourages development because we believe that peace without de uh, uh, development um, cannot uh, be sustainable. The war here has had devastating effects, triggering inflation, economic crisis, and making the government here run broke, pushing the country to famine early this year, and still it was the UN and other humanitarian agencies that managed to mitigate the acute food shortage. Recent months were characterized by disagreements between the UN and South Sudan's government, including dispute on who should guard Juba International Airport and where the UN troops should be based. The UN has also complained of being denied access to some parts of the country. Juba now says it's working to improve relations with the UN. Patrick Oyet, CGTN, Juba, South Sudan.